This is the primary VSIM environment. The title bar lists the name of the application and the name of the current worksheet. A series of menus gives access to common tasks, the specification of simulation parameters, the blocks menu and other specialist functionality, including that installed by the add-ons such as VSIM Analyze. A series of customizable toolbars offers quick access to commonly used blocks and allows you to run the simulation as well. A hierarchical simulation browser also gives access to blocks and offers one method of drilling down into your simulation to view greater levels of detail. The status bar shows the current block count, the time range over which our system is simulated, the time step, the current simulation time and the specified integration algorithm. The majority of the interface, however, is occupied by the worksheet. This is where you develop your model by simply dragging and dropping blocks and wiring them together to specify the flow of the simulation. The blue blocks are user-created compound blocks. I can drill down and see greater levels of simulation complexity by either right-clicking on the appropriate compound block or by using the hierarchical simulation browser. Right-clicking on the worksheet navigates up the hierarchy. One of the most important menus in VisSim is the Simulation Properties dialog. Here you can change timing options, ask that a simulation is run in real time, a multiple of real time, or as fast as possible, or request that a simulation is run continuously during which parameters can be changed by the user. You can also choose between relatively simple integration algorithms and rather more sophisticated algorithms targeted towards simulating stiff systems. The behaviour of the built-in implicit solver can also be altered. Let's finish this brief introduction to the VSIM interface by running our simulation. Developing simulations in VISIM is easy. Simply choose blocks from either the blocks menu the customizable toolbar or drag them across from the hierarchical simulation browser and connect them by dragging a wire from the output port of one block into the input port of another block. If you're just getting started with VSIM, you may want to explore the Diagrams menu. This contains a large library of pre-built worksheets across a range of disciplines. Feel free to explore, modify and run these worksheets. 